Hi, hello students. Welcome to Let's Understand Physics. In this video, we see hypermetropia or long sightedness. This is the defect of vision. In the previous video, I have completed myopia or short sightedness in detail. So, in this video, also we will see in the same way in detail definition of hypermetropia, causes, correction, and the ray diagrams of hypermetropia to write in your board exam. It is very very important question for class 10 students. Don't skip the video. Watch completely so that you will understand in detail about hypermetropia. So that you will get out of out marks in the exam if this question comes. Very very important and it is asked so many times in the exam. If you haven't watched myopia, I will give link in the description. That video you can watch it so that either myopia or hypermetropia can come in your exam for long answer from human eye and the colorful world. Now let's start. Definition of hypermetropia. So hypermetropia is a defect of vision. So in this the person will be able to see far objects clearly but he is unable to see the near objects clearly. So here what happens is generally for the healthy human eye as you know, the near point of the person, healthy eye, is 25 centimeter, And the farthest point is infinity. Now here when the objects are placed at infinity, the person can see clearly without any spectacles. But the object which is placed near to the eye, 25 centimeter, 50, 100, 200 like that, the person will not be able to see. So if he has to see the objects which are placed near to the eye he needs spectacles so if you observe in the old age people for reading newspaper they will use spectacles otherwise they stretch their hands to some extent and they will be reading without spectacles that means their far point has gone away from 25 centimeter so that they cannot keep the paper at 25 centimeter like us and read it. Okay, I hope everybody understood this definition of hypermetropia. In the diagrams, we will see how it is and how to correct it. Okay, now what are the causes? These causes are also very, very important. The length of the eyeball becomes smaller and the focal length of the eye lens becomes large. So in this case, the image of the object will not form on the retina but it forms behind the retina. Then correction. For correcting this hypermetropia, we have to use convex lens of suitable focal length. Depending upon the person, it changes and convex lens is a converging lens. And based on this convex lens correction, to find focal length or power, they ask you in the numericals. Numericals, I will make a video in the next video. Okay, we'll see hypermetropia ray diagrams now. For correcting hypermetropia and defect of hypermetropia, how to draw the ray diagrams. Okay, now first let us take here what happens? Far point doesn't have any problem, only near point has problem. For healthy eye, what is the near point? Healthy eye. 25 centimeter, isn't it? Now, if the person doesn't have any problem, he should be able to see at 25 centimeter, isn't it? Now, at 25 centimeter, if he is watching the paper or any book, he should be able to see it. Understood? Now, we will draw for the healthy eye what happens. Now I am just drawing for eye one small circle. I am using a coin as I have used in the previous video in the same way. Now this is the eye. Okay. Now first we will draw the line isn't it. Then in the middle exactly bisecting this we will draw the convex lens of our human eye isn't it 
Now draw the convex lens. Now the object is at 25 centimeter. This is the near point of healthy human eye. Let us take this is the far point infinity with infinity. We don't have any problem. So if you don't draw also no problem. Now here you see from 25 centimeter if you are taking object you have to draw divergent rays. Okay, now I am drawing divergent rays. Use scale and pencil. I am using red color so that you will be able to see clearly. That's why I am using red ink. But you have to draw with the pencil in your exam. Okay, now see here. Divergent rays and even this line I am taking it as a light ray. So all the light rays are towards the eye. Then they have to converge on the retina to form the image on the retina. Isn't it? Now I am showing convergence on the retina. Now here is the image formed. Image eye on retina. Okay. Now this is what? 25 centimeter near point you can take N. Near point of healthy human eye. He doesn't have any problem. But for hypermetropic person. Hypermetropic person near point what happens? We will see now. Now for hypermetropic person if the object is at 25 centimeter. What happens? We will see now. Okay. Same again you have to draw the eye. Isn't it? Then this line. Then convex lens. Okay. Now again 25 centimeter. Exactly 25 centimeter. I am keeping the object. Okay. Then what happens here? For him. The focal length will be. Larger than the healthy eye. So that instead of converging the light rays on the retina. They converge behind the retina. Means this will be extended up to here. So the focal length is increasing. So that the convergence you have to show out of the retina. I hope everybody understood this. Very, very important. This is the defect diagram. Okay. Now, where image is formed? Image is formed behind the retina. Arrow marks are also very, very important. Okay. Now, if the object is placed at 25 centimeter also, this person should be able to see that object. If he has to see that particular object, what you have to do? You have to correct his defect. Isn't it? For correcting the defect, we have to use corrective lens. Okay. Let's see corrective lens. Okay. Then before that, what we will do is, if at all, if the object is placed behind this 25 centimeter, let us take like 100 meter, his near point will be somewhere else other than this 25 centimeter. Somewhere, let us take here, N dash. If the object is placed at this N dash, what happens? We will see. Okay. As I have discussed with you one example, what I have told the people, old age people, what do they do? 
Instead of keeping at 25 cm, they stretch their hands and place the newspaper at 50 cm or 100 cm so that they can see it clearly. They don't need to use the spectacles for that. That is what instead of keeping 25 cm away we are placing. Now, okay. That point I am taking it as N dash. N dash is what? Near point of the hypermetropic eye. Hypermetropic eye. Now, object is placed at N dash. First two cases at 25 centimeter. Now object is here. So this is object. And for this also this is the object. Now let's take the light rays. From that N dash. To our eyes convex lens. Again same you have to draw diverging beam. Now. The light rays will meet exactly on the retina. So with this we will understand that the near point of hypermetropic eye is not N but it is N dash. So for getting the virtual image of object which is at N at n dash we have to use spits okay now correction diagram with the what lens this also very very important convex lens or converging lens okay remember this don't get confused now how to draw how to draw this same way First draw eye diagram. Then draw the line. Eye lens. Okay. Now outside also you have to draw the convex lens. Now where should be the object placed? Object should be placed at 25 cm. Object should be placed at 25 cm which is placed here. You have to see that by using the lens. Okay. Now the object which is placed at 25 cm its virtual image by using convex lens will be formed at his near point where it is n dash okay understood everyone the object which is placed at 25 centimeter its virtual image will be formed at n dash so that he will be able to see that object we we don't shift every time from 25 centimeter to his near point isn't it can we shift the objects every time no just by using this lens, lens will make the shifting as it forms the virtual image. Okay. Now again take here diverging light rays to external lens. And then this is the converging lens, isn't it? Show the convergence. You have to show this convergence, small convergence to the eye lens and then from here it converges on to the retina. Image of that object will be formed on the retina. So on the retina what is the, what type of image is formed that also you have to learn. Now with external convex lens the image formed will be 
what will be the image formed with the external convex lens that is virtual erect image but in your eye whatever you have with that what image will be formed convex lens there on the retina there will be formed real inverted image very very important you have to remember so this is n dash okay this is the convex lens which is used for correction or converging lens okay then what will be here image formed on retina okay so these are the diagrams and n is the near point of the healthy human eye n dash is the near point of the hypermetropic eye you have to remember and you have to label it clearly how i have done all these diagrams okay i hope everybody understood this hypermetropia and you will be able to write this in the exam clearly thank you for watching and please like the video share to your friends and family those who are studying class 10 cbsc and comment if you have any more doubts in physics thank you